Good morning. This is Lance Johns. Um, I've been collecting articles and I need to catch up on on my articles. So here I go. Um, This topic is about the mass and sweat garden. Yeah. Yeah, the the mass and uh, sweat garden uh, spear. Yeah, that's what it's called. Well... This is basically a project um, as a fillet with the Venetian uh, Casino, which is owned by Sands and uh, the Las Vegas Strip. Okay, uh, this story basically says the MGM does some restructuring. The the need needs cash for for the London uh, Spear project. It won't affect the it won't affect the Las Vegas project. This story is from last week, around the the ninth and tenth. I just been behind on my story because I've been so busy working and Ubering and stuff. So I'm trying to catch up on these stories. I need to be sleeping now because I, I I gotta get up at seven to go to work at eight. So I'm really I really need to take my tail to bed. But anyway, the the M the MSG Spear, uh, yeah, the the M, uh, MG, uh, M, yeah, the Masters Sweat Garden Company will spin off its entertainment business from its sports business to conserve ca- to save cash for a second MSG Spear project in London. Um, the restructuring move detail detailed in the company Friday earnings conference call will have no effect on the Las Vegas uh, project at Venetian. We are now pursuing pursuing a full spin off from our entertainment business that separated the entertainment uh, business from the sports business. Basically, MSG Vice President Greg Siebert said doing a company's conference call with investors as a result of this new structure the entertainment of company will not retain any equity interest in the sporting complex i mean in the sports uh company okay we believe that the entertainment company will have su- sufficient financial flexibility to pursue is venue expansion plans without the need for the retained interest. As a result, we think this new structure makes uh, the most sense from our shareholders. Originally, the company envisioned the entertainment company and keeping keeping a stake in sports. MSG Sporting Company owns the New York Knicks baseball team and the New York Rangers hockey. Both teams and the New York Rangers hockey team. I just read that, I think, yeah. Okay. Both teams play in the Madison Square Garden. The move was made because the planning application and the design project in London is taking longer than expected. Executive initially hoped that the London Spear... Let me turn the page. Would open a year after the Las Vegas project, but executives said the new time frame will give London Design an opportunity to learn from the construction project in Las Vegas. The MSG Spirit at the Venetian at first was kind. The seventy thousand seat. Ugh. Entertainment venue under construction. Just east of the Venetian and the Palazzo and the San Expo Center and Convention Center it is expected to become the most utilized entertainment venue in the Madison Square Garden portfolio when it opens in 2021. The spear shaped building with the massive video screens in the interior will be 366 feet tall, about 10 feet shorter than a Palazzo Tower. Uh, 
Okay, like, okay, a like, uh, hundred feet shorter than the Palazzo Tower at the at Venetian, and five hundred sixty wider than the Broadcast Point. It's been built on eighteen acres across from Sands Avenue between Manhattan Street and Coval Lane, and will be connected to Venetian and Palazzo at the Sands Expo Center. Center with a thousand foot pedestrian bridge, and there will be a monorail stop added. By by you know by the MGS Spear. And, and the the extra stop will be near Sands Avenue and Cobal Lane. We expect the MGS Spear to change how we think about the entertainment experience, which is why we anticipate the Las Vegas Spear becoming the most highly utilized ven venue in our portfolio. MGS President Andy Les Garten during the conference call. Les Garten listed four reasons why he expects the Las Vegas venue to be a success. First, as a leader in live entertainment, we directly experienced the growth, the growing demand for immersive shared experience. He said, unlike any other venue that exists today, the MGS Spirit will be. Uniquely suited to deliver on its trend. Second, we believe Las Vegas is one of the, the world's mo top entertainment destinations over f with over 40 million visitors yearly. It's the ideal market to introduce the first MGS Spear, Madison Square Garden Spear. I never knew MGS Spe Spear stand for Madison Square Garden, but now I know. Okay, uh... Lus Garden also created the company partnership with Las Vegas Sands as a extremely beneficial relationship for both companies. As we help drive each other business, and he also said the company has assembled a team of experts to take the venue to another level with design, construction. Ticketing, sponsorship, and suit sales. So when the MGS Spear opens around 2021, it's it's supposed to be be I guess a a top venue for entertainment, and I guess it's gonna bring in money and bring in people. I guess so. Hopefully, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it's a success along with. The other stuff is happening in the Las Vegas area. And that's that. And thank you and have a good night.